a sense of shame, a sense of, uh, they're in the spotlight. Mm -hmm. So lots of things are going on within the person in spite of the fact that nothing is happening outside. Dr. O'Sullivan, you've been a psychiatrist for many, many years, and have even taught psychiatry in medical schools. When it comes to social anxiety, what, what is social anxiety? Social anxiety is the experience of intense anxiety, uh, dread, fear, uh, in certain situations. Uh, a person may encounter it uh, at work, at an office party, uh, at family functions. Very distressing, very uncomfortable. It takes over and it can have a disabling effect on their lives. So what does, it, what does it feel like? What are the symptoms of social anxiety? Many symptoms. I could start with blushing, sweating, trembling, rapid shallow uh, breathing, uh, restlessness, and a, an intense fear that they're being scrutinized, judged by other people, especially when they're performing or functioning in a public place. They feel people are looking at them and criticizing them. And often the person would feel humiliated by the experience, very distressing. Humiliated even though perhaps nothing has really happened that would humiliate a person, is that fair to say? Absolutely, but a lot is happening inside. Inside. A sense of shame, a sense of, uh, they're in the spotlight. Mm -hmm. So lots of things are going on within the person, in spite of the fact that nothing is happening outside. So how does social anxiety get diagnosed? The requirements are for a diagnosis that the condition needs to be present for at least six months. Also, the anxiety associated with the condition has to be present to an intense degree, a disabling degree, and it has to be triggered by certain situations. Uh, to the point that the person may begin to exhibit avoidance behavior. They avoid going to certain situations, a team meeting at work, uh, a family function, a wedding, things like that. And then accompanying all of that is the, the dread that they're being judged by others, that uh, people are saying, are thinking critical things about them. And that, um, that makes it a very unpleasant experience. Often, social anxiety disorder can be part of a complex uh, psychological uh, disorder, if I can put it that way. So an assessment is important to see if, to see if, or to exclude, a hidden depression, OCD, panic disorder, bipolar disorder, or alcohol dependence, self-medicating with alcohol, uh, in social anxiety disorder does occur. A person takes a few drinks before they go to a wedding, before they go to the office party. And over the years, they become dependent on alcohol. So an assessment mm. is so important. Know what you, what you have, understand the diagnosis. Be clear that social anxiety disorder is the problem that you're dealing with. So how does social anxiety differ from being shy or introverted? Social anxiety is much more than shyness. Shyness is an inconvenience that a person can have, an unpleasant in inconvenience, a uh, somewhat distressing inconvenience, whereas social anxiety is a disability. A person who is shy often can function in a social situation. It's unpleasant for them, but if needs be, they can go to a wedding, to a social occasion. They don't like it, but they can do it. Mm. The person with social anxiety will try to avoid a situation like that. Or if they go, it's a very distressing experience. They dread having to go. So social anxiety is a disability. Shyness is an inconvenience. And what about introversion? We hear the word introversion a lot these days. How does that differ? It is, it's different again. An introverted person very often is comfortable at being alone. They're quite comfortable with having few friends. Their hobbies and interests, recreational interests, are likely to be solitary. 
at work by choice, they won't project themselves, promote themselves. Very often, they're seen by their friends as a little eccentric, but they're happy. They're happy with being introverted. A shy person wishes they, they had friends. The shy person would love to be able to function in a social situation, go to a party, go to the office party and have fun. Mm. The introverted person doesn't care. Mm. Enormous difference between the two. Can you explain what causes social anxiety? Uh, often there are many causes. But social anxiety is linked to stressful childhoods. The parenting style that the child is exposed to growing up. We know that anxious parents often have anxious children. Family history. A family history of depression, um, anxiety, OCD, leaves a person at risk to developing social anxiety disorder in later life much more at risk than the general pop population, and our temperament. Some people are born with a, a shy, a shy, sensitive temperament. Mm. They worry about things, they personalize things, and as a result, they're much more at risk to developing social anxiety in later life if things go wrong. And how common is social anxiety? About over a lifetime, about 12% of the population will experience social anxiety. In a given year, up to 7% of the population will be struggling with social anxiety. And we think about that in a, in a town or a city of 100,000 people, 7,000 people will be experiencing social anxiety disorder. So it's quite a significant, a significant factor. Mm. It's more common in women. It's quite common in teenage girls. And then over the following four or five years, many of them acquire the ability to overcome the condition as they move into their 20s and become more self-confident, achieve a little bit of success, and their social skills improve. Also, people coming from socially deprived backgrounds, where the family perhaps uh, is deprived from an educational point of view, an economic point of view, and they fail to develop the social skills that we need to function at work or in a social situation. And very often somebody with that type of background develops anxiety and this anxiety escalates when uh, they struggle at coping in social situations. Mm -hmm. Of course, a person experiencing childhood abuse or neglect that uh, leaves them very vulnerable mm. to problems in society and in social occasions in later life. It's interesting with social anxiety and the cause. It sounds, I believe it sounds like the theme of uncertainty, people being very uncomfortable with insecure, uncertainty, insecure. In, insecure. Thank you very much. Uh, we're next going to talk about the skills that people can develop to overcome social anxiety.